Is that funny, little Trumpy Bomb? Yay, funny boy. Oh, <gasps> yeah, clever boy. Are you laughing? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Is that funny? Are you a little Trumpy Bomb? <laughs> Are you a little Trumpy Bomb? Is mummy making your, what is it, will it be? Bitty. This will be meal number three. He has no idea that you sit here doing this, but he loves reaping the benefits. I'll make him uh, know about it when he's older. <laughs> oh, fair enough. <laughs> sure if we were going to make this video and mainly because in my time I've watched a lot of morning routines like with a newborn or without a newborn they're just so aesthetic and clean and white and it, the mum wakes up and she, she looks like she just looks great we don't have that our house isn't aesthetic looking we've got a lot of mess going on because we're struggling I mean this is how I wake up most mornings my hair is an absolute grease ball right now I don't think I've had a shower in hmm, like five days maybe which is really bad really bad I should probably go to the shower it's not very pleasing to the eye let's just say but we do have a morning routine don't we Cosman we have stuff to do in the morning don't we and i mean every morning isn't the same it is what it is isn't it this little hungry boy you're eating really fast whoa that's my... no that is my booby we don't eat there anymore we don't eat there anymore you're so big can you believe that he's six weeks mister you're only six weeks look at the size of you it looks like he's like four months so when he's four months, is he gonna look like he's one years old? Are you gonna look like you're one years old when you're only four months? Are you gonna walk next week? And he's already getting all these like cute little things like he's trying to copy my faces, which I Googled because he's been doing it for a couple of weeks now. If I open my mouth and I go, ah, he copies my face and I've tried to do a little, little, and he tries to stick his tongue out and it's just so cute. A lot of what we do when we have Babby is we kind of alternate. If anything needs doing like feeding or nappy changing, one of us will take it on while the other one of us gets something else done. So for example, Connor insisted on cleaning the kitchen while I fed Babby this morning. Do you have some wind? Should we burp you? That is my booby. No, nope, that is my booby. You won't get, there's pumps on there. You won't get anything out of there. Nice. So I was making like five to seven ounces and he drinks a lot. He's a big boy. And because he's sleeping through the night, he takes larger feeds. And then my milk supply just dipped. It just, it was like, no, thank you. And then I was only getting two out. This was for like three days straight. I was only getting two ounces out every single time I pumped. And that's not feeding anyone. I'd have to pump like three, four times just to get him a feed. And I was genuinely thinking to myself, if, if this is all I'm getting out, what is the point? Because I'm sat here pumping for 20 to 30 minutes every single time. And it's not even enough to feed my baby because I exclusively pump. But then some of you said, put him on the breast for a feed, which I did for two days and it really did help, but I couldn't establish a proper latch with him. So I think I made him a little bit gassy. So I'm gonna cut back on that. And also he's like, he's trumping a lot and he's burping a lot. I don't know if maybe he's got some sort of allergy. So I'm gonna try and cut back on my dairy. I like my dairy, I like my cheese, I like my ice cream. <laughs> Cosman. Yeah. 
Oh my goodness, it's a bit big. That is the cutest it's a bit thing I've big, ever seen. Isn't it? So I put Bobby in his little bouncer chair and he, he, he might go for a nap. Sometimes he doesn't, but if he goes for a nap, we'll then do some tummy time a little bit later on. And then, Mummy has treated herself to an ice brown sugar shaken espresso. Cause you know, no dairy. We'll see how we go. It's not very shaken, is it? Do you say oat shake and espresso? Please tell me. I got one for myself because I'm going dairy free. But you got me one though as well, right? I can tell by the size of the bag that you got me one. Not just the standard size of the bag. No, do you, mean? you wouldn't get me. You wouldn't get yourself one without me. You've got a massive stain down your top. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I, I spilled coffee all over my leg. I drew on myself as well. But you know when you've got a baby and you're burping him and he's sicking on you, it's like. Do I need to clean my clothes anymore, or do I just Four, keep five, them five. dirty? Yay! Yeah. Oh, right, Dad. so I'll uh, hey, leave you daddy. to it. Naughty oh, daddy, it's okay, mummy's here. Mummy's here. So this next segment is not for the faint-hearted. And by the faint-hearted, I mean the house Karens. People that feel the need to tell us that our house is filthy and we should do a better job of cleaning it. Now, you're definitely correct. We suck at um, time management when it comes to cleaning because our job is very demanding. And now with a baby, we were bad before. You can only imagine how bad we are now. See, on a serious note, we probably need to hire a cleaner because we just can't keep on top of all of this with everything going on. It's just like you go into an office job. If you work in an office, you've got to get there for a certain time, you've got to get the work done, then you can come home and maybe do your cleaning and stuff. The only difference is we don't really get that home time, especially on an editing day. It just goes all day, sometimes through the night. I'm going to show you what it's actually been like for us um, mess-wise since having Cozy. You know what? We haven't done a, the worst job of keeping on top of it, but this is bad. Just looking around now, this is bad. This is the current state of our kitchen. We've just got coffee mugs, which we drink a lot of, all over the place, and, you know, pots that need washing. It's, it's pretty bad. This is the worst it's been in a long, long time. A mess really annoys me which is why I've kind of been putting it off because I've not even been coming in here literally because of that it stresses me out the only time we really come in here is to wash Cozy's bottles and sterilize them and then we're straight out again so it's my task whilst Cozy is asleep and Leon is enjoying her coffee to clean the kitchen this is what I've said I'll do so I'm gonna do it so I'm gonna put on a podcast and I'm gonna get it done no excuses and hopefully you'll see a clean kitchen at the end <sighs> Cozy's just trying to have a little poo poo. Are you trying to have a poo poo? So mummy's giving him a little little belly rub. Yeah, I well. And we're just waiting for daddy to come and take over so mummy can get dressed and brush her teeth. You're doing little drumbies. That was a big yawn. Okay, so it's been a while. Um, it's it's looking good. It's not spotless, but we haven't got time to be spotless, okay? We're busy. But these are going in the dishwasher in about two minutes when the first cycle's done, so that'll be clear. And there's no more mess. I've cleaned the tops. It's looking slick. I'm just cleaning his bottles now, and I'm going to put some in the sterilizer, which is this thing over here. It's really strange, actually. It's like a blue light sterilizer. I have no idea how it works, but it must work. Otherwise, they wouldn't be able to sell it. It, right Believe it or not, Liana actually gets away with doing the washing up purely because she has um, a self-caused rash, as you guys know. She gave herself, I can't remember what it's called, but basically she did a trend on TikTok where she put fairy liquid on her lips and I think she had a cut on her lip at the time and it caused an allergic reaction, which she still has to this day. And that was like two or three years ago now, which is crazy. So yeah, she can't wash up unless she has marigolds on. So I do the majority of the washing up. Also, this is a very strange position to talk in. I think he's trying to have a poo poo. We've he's had some trumpers, haven't we? We've had some trumpers. He's trying to have a caca. Dada. Mummy gets the pressure to eat. Mama. Dada. Mama. Dada. Mama. Dada. Mama, mama. Hello, beautiful. Mummy get the brush your teeth because mm. they smell. Mummy needs to brush her teeth. Right. Oh, he did a helicopter trump. Oh, that one really smells. You got stinky trumps these days, boy. They give your mummy a run for her money. Oh 
my goodness, get to brush my teeth and get dressed. The only annoying thing, when Connor takes over from me, it's usually time to pump again. The only annoying thing about it is you have to carry this around. And this would be great if it was like a neck strap, but it isn't. So you have to kind of like move it around because it's touch screen. When you're walking, you can literally just hit it with your leg by mistake and it like, it turns off or it goes up three levels and you're like, ah! And it makes me feel like Katy Perry out of Care you know, and she's got like the whipped cream things on her boobs. Now let's try and brush my teeth with it on. And I've, I've already turned it off because I just pushed it against my side. So annoying! I don't know if you can hear this, but I can literally hear Liana pumping upstairs if you just... Yeah, I don't know where I was going with this, I just thought it was quite funny. Cozy just can't wait for mummy to come back downstairs so we can have tummy time as a family. You want some tummy time? You want some tummy time? Yeah! You always grab fingers, it's so adorable. Okay, so I can't get dressed straight away because obviously I've got these on, but ever since I've started my little like mummy makeover series on my YouTube shorts, a lot of you were saying, listen, you need to get a birth band. I guess it's like a, a waist trainer kind of, but it isn't, it just kind of holds you in. And a Apparently it's meant to bring everything back round to the front a lot sooner. So I'm going to put that on and also I've noticed that since being pregnant I slouch. I slouch a lot so I have now got a posture band as well which I am going to start wearing because I'm quite tall so when I slouch it looks really horrible and you just wear it like a backpack. I don't know how it works because I think it just reminds you to kind of stay up. Yeah I think it's going to be a jumper today because what can you wear under that? You can't really go out with that on can you? So now I get to get dressed. Oh a bit of dry shampoo. I feel like finding your style after you've had a baby is so hard like New body, new mindset, you feel like a completely new person and I was like, what do I wear? I don't fit in the clothes that I wore when I was pregnant and I don't fit in the clothes that I wore before I was pregnant except for like all the baggy stuff. I always like root through my wardrobe and then I find a jumper and I'm like, oh my goodness, yes, I found a jumper, I can wear this for two weeks now and then baby is sick on it or pees on it or poos on it. I only managed just under three ounces and that is because I haven't eaten yet and I've only had a coffee, I haven't been drinking so that's mummy's fault. And now it is time for tummy time. <laughs> What a strong little man. Hey, well, stop eating your arm. He's such a clever boy. You yeah, lift your um, head. Look how strong you are. I never know where's the best place to have the pillow. Wow. 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 But then if I remove the pillow, he's just going to eat the floor. Yeah, he does tend to eat the floor. Hey, look how wet your arm is. Yeah, You're hungry been, again. He's sucking on it. You're hungry again. <laughs> Oh. Ooh, burpees! He used to be able to do it so easy, but I think because he's so heavy now he can't he do it. He struggles to pull his weight. <laughs> well, we swapped. Um, it's now Daddy's time to get ready. And that's how quick Daddy gets ready. Now let's go back downstairs to the most important people in my life. Mm. You coming to say bye bye? <laughs> I feel like this morning has been like a very long morning. That feels like a long morning. It was a long morning. You think it's because we were filming it? Okay, baby. Boom. The thing about the morning routines is we never have the same morning, so this is kind of a never, general morning yeah. routine. I mean, it's pretty pretty much the same every day. Baby's currently cluster feeding, so he's taking little feeds and often, so he's mm. hungry again. He's always hungry, hungry anyway. Again. I hope you enjoyed an insight into our morning. I guess we'll see you in the next video. We, we love, love you millions. millions. Bye. Bye. Oh, he did a helicopter trump.